Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to crochet the bobble stitch. And um, the only thing that you need to know for this stitch is how to do a double crochet. And a bobble stitch is just usually if you're going to be making limbs on any type of animal. So like um, this, this little bear that I made from a pattern it's not my pattern by the way um these little legs arms ears they require a bobble stitch and so that is what i'm going to show you today also in just the rest of these tutorials um they will usually be a magic ring of six increased all the way around to 12 stitches total and the only skill that you need to know need to know for this stitch the bobble stitch is um, double crochet, and yeah, so we're gonna do it, um, you're gonna start off like a regular double crochet, this is the loop that we're going to be going into, so we're gonna put our yarn over, over the hook, slip the hook under both loops, loop it, or loop the yarn around, and now you have three on your hook, so you're going to loop it around, and pull through two, and I'm going to show you both ways to do this bobble stitch. Um, and now we have two left, but we're not, we are not going to yarn over, pull through that. We are not going to do that. Um, we are going, instead we're going to make another double crochet into the exact same stitch. So we're going to poke that through the, si through the stitch. I'm going to be doing this four times. And then the next one I show you, I will be going to do it five times. Usually bobble stitches... I do it with four, some require five, but I'm gonna teach you both just in case. So you're gonna do yarn, pull through two. You're always pulling through two. You're not gonna pull through any more. So now you have three on your hook. We're gonna do the third time, yarn over, stick it into the exact same stitch, yarn through, and now you have five on your hook, but you're gonna pull through two. Oh, that's three which will give you four. And then for the fourth one, you are going to do the exact same thing. Pull it through, and you are going to pull it through two. It has five now with four, and if we did it with five double crochets in our bobble stitch, it would be six because one of them is the yarn over. So um, we are going to loop our yarn around and pull it through five. And as you can see, it doesn't really pop up there. However, whenever we do a single crochet, it we can just push it out. And here we could have a possible ear, arm, leg, whatever. Oh, sorry. Getting really clumsy with the tripod. So this is what it would look like. Um, I'm just unwinding it to show you what it would look like with five or well, well five is just the exact same thing but add it but so i'm just gonna do it once more yarn over stick it through pull it through both loops and pull through sorry it, it got a little messed up but instead of pulling through the other two to yarn over stick it through do the exact same thing you're always pulling through two, just remember that. So now we have three. Same thing, yarn over. I will do the fourth one slower. So this is the final one. I'm just gonna do it slower in case y'all just like, whoa, 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 what? Yarn over, stick it through the exact same stitch. Yarn over again, pull it through. Pull through two. And it's okay if it's having trouble. And then loop it around, pull it through all of them. And then usually you will have to do a single stitch to puff it out. And then boom, there you have a bobble stitch. And sometimes for different projects, um, 
you have to do three double crochet and one singles and one stitch. That's basically just the same thing as this, but not four instead of three. Like three instead of four, sorry. Um, and so this is how you do a crochet bubble stitch.